want you. This is one of this perfectionist agenda. It's a failed agenda because God does not wait for men to be perfect. Sincerity must replace perfection in your standards. Are we together? So we discussed that. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. Number three, we said true love is honor. Honor. I totally dislike this. Honor. Thank you for watching Christian I don't House hate Channel. Those who communicate it, but I hate everything about dishonor. Dishonor is not only sin, dishonor is evil. Dishonor is the deliberate refusal to discern, acknowledge, and celebrate the uniqueness of a person. That's what dishonor is an intentional refusal. Dishonor seeks to trivialize people. So when they say a Jimmy is such an, an intelligent person, he's such an anointed man, you seek to bring a factor to show that he does not warrant that level of acknowledgement. There are people like that. Dishonor can be a habit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Dishonor can be a habit. Let's go and tell our parents, thank you. For what? For what? What did they do? It's a habit. Dishonor can be as addictive as this, this thing this guy gave testimony about. Tramol, tramadol. Yes, you can be addicted to dishonor. Because every time you dishonor a man, you try to use, there are two ways to grow tall. Climb something or cut the head of everybody above you. Dishonor seeks to do that. So because of your frustration to climb and rise, you try to cut down everything so that they will look like you. It's a terrible attitude. I watch it all the time. I've driven everything and I continue to do it intentionally. You never dishonor me and hang around me, no matter who you are, young or old. I honor people, but if you dishonor me, I draw a line and supervise that that line remains. I hate dishonor. It is devilish. I will not dishonor anyone, but I will not tolerate dishonor. Not as if, I'm very outspoken about that one. Dishonor is dangerous. He said, those who honor me, I will honor. But he that despises me, I will likely esteem. Honor the Lord, not give to the Lord. Honor, your attitude is important. God watches how you do it. That's what makes it honorable. Hallelujah. Honor is the recognition, the acknowledgement, the celebrating, and even the rewarding of value. Brothers and sisters, our world is full of people who are valuable. Wives are valuable. Husbands are valuable. Ladies are valuable. Men are valuable. There are cultures that train men to dishonor women by default. The philosophies of those cultures were designed to ensure that a full-grown man cultivates an appetite for intentionally dishonoring a woman. And there are many ways to communicate that. Unfortunately, there are also cultures and philosophies that more dangerously programs women to dishonor men. We live in a generation right now where anything a man can do, a woman can do. And so she does not see any basis of honoring the man. You are earning 50,000, I'm earning 100. You bought a car, I bought a car. You are a doctor, I'm a doctor. You are a public speaker, I'm a public speaker. If you drive me out, I have property somewhere. So the woman, that's why successful women hardly enjoy good marriages because there is a side effect until the holy spirit tames a woman to that position where she understands and subscribes to divine order society and sadly relationship experts have contributed in no small way to advancing this demonic doctrine where a woman's loyalty and honor to a man is based on obvious reasons so if the man loses his job the woman believes she has a legitimate right to dishonor him. No, sir. Society marks it yes. God marks it no. It's up to you to choose. Remember, the power to choose is still there. 
so my assignment is to present the word of god and leave you to choose you can say this 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 apostle has come again no problem but one thing is that for every choice you make be ready to also prepare for the consequences love is honor never say you love anybody you dishonor no i love children and they fall and you leave them there you don't love children i love jesus no where is your giving i forgot no you don't you don't honor him i love my wife really i love my husband i love my business you must preserve through honor i said something that maybe let me just say it quickly and then we'll go to today's teaching true honor is mutual say it after me true honor is mutual one more time if honor is one-sided it turns the one give because you see honor is a sacrifice honor many times can be ego stinging especially for men it is not in a man's natural disposition to turn and honor his wife or subordinate it's easy to honor someone obviously higher than you but the bible says honor all men you see that so it is not in man's natural disposition to honor so if and when he does it there must be a reciprocation we honor the lord through our worship he honors us back by confirming our words with signs following it is always mutual a business where only one person is honoring the people the ceo honors his staff and the staff do not see a need to intentionally honor the honor must be vocal otherwise it is not honor you don't honor in your heart alone it's not true you must find a way of vocalizing your honor by vocal i don't just mean communicating it in speech alone there must be action there must be motion to back up honor are we together yes you honor the lord let me see it in your giving let me see it in your loving him let me see it in the sacrifices why do you call me lord and do not do i don't see a corresponding action honor must be mutual if a husband honors the wife a wise wife will find a way of reciprocating the honor immediately as soon as possible not after five years no visitors come to your house and your wife prepares a wonderful meal and people say ah your wife can cook <laughs> you don't laugh. I say, well uh, that, that's what god can do that's not honor enough that's pride that's pride yes it is that's the name it's called pride the man must find a way you see that of appreciating the same thing with the woman my god what a beautiful house hey, ah, have you forgotten i learned interior decor no that's not the issue madam you would have been broke if that man did not provide money don't pretend that okay but he brought half of the money it doesn't matter that half played a role a wise woman hides her glory and makes sure that the husband is seen just like the sun and the moon the glory of the sun is reflected in the moon but the glory comes from the sun honor is mutual ladies say it honor is mutual gentlemen say it honor is mutual so if the music director acknowledges the people and say gentlemen you are a brilliant team they should find a way not a pretentious way there's a way somebody talks you know that i don't even like what you are saying you will hardly have fights and quarrel when there is an intentional covenant of communicating honor do you know why honor is important because challenges are inevitable honor is like a cushion that prepares for the days of challenges so that in the midst of the harshness of the challenges you remember don't forget the fact that we are quarreling today remember yesterday i lavishly communicated honor so it will cushion the effect when there is no honor when trouble comes it wounds more than intended because there was a foundation of trouble is god speaking to us that's why it's difficult to forgive in many relationships family relationships because there has been an accumulation of dishonor the wife to husband or husband to wife 
you can earn a living practicing honor there are people in life i'm eternally indebted to they have they have they have bought me over literally through honor there are people who the door of favor closed in their life because there was no honor be sensitive to honor learn it you will look like a fool until the blessings start coming hmm? in business practice honor in marriage practice honor in relationship practice honor don't say i did it once no honor let's get to today's teaching thank you jesus is god changing us please be determined to practice this our apostles are from that village no we have been called out of every tribe tongue nobody's talking village here nobody's talking ancestral cause i don't care what your father worship god is giving you a chance now to wash yourself with the word and come out of all these demonic excuses that people keep bringing that is shredding lives and families and opportunities into pieces honor honor can schedule a season that should not be there honor can schedule a season that should not be there somebody did not plan to bless you that far but honor forces him to extend more than intended i've been a victim of it people have honored me in such a way that i i watch myself like i was spellbound doing more than intended because of honor this honor can also shorten the life of favor favor can have an artificial half-life because of dishonor i plan to bless you for five months dishonor made it reduced to two weeks these are the systems of the kingdom that we must learn are we learning Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.